everybody. <clears throat> Happy Fatwood Fired Up Friday. And uh, I'm going to fire one up today for you all. And this is for all of you guys. Because I'm going to tell you, y'all, some love, prayers, thoughts, all the wishes, all the comments. And I haven't even got to see them because we still got this, you know. Well, first off, let me explain. You know, I started out, I thought I had a, like a little stomach flu. I uh, woke up in the middle of the night, vomiting and running a real high fever. A friend of mine, a few days earlier, went from Pigeon Forge and had one last for a couple of days. And my niece said her daughters had one, so I just figured that's what I had. <laughs> I mean, why not, right? And, uh, Mine lasted a little longer. And when I ended up going to the hospital, I was severely dehydrated. But little did I know that actually, um, I had real bad infections. My blood, my blood and urine. Uh, my kidneys had shut down. My organs were shutting down. And so the eyeballs are organs. And, uh, so yeah, we're we're working to get them eyes back again, but uh, we you know we we still smiled. It was it was all good. I I can't stand being in the hospital, and uh, so I was on a cruise ship, the SS St. Elizabeth, and uh, the hospital the whole hospital was pretty amazed. Actually, they kept telling me uh, I did not know how bad I was, and I didn't. I really didn't. But I reckon. God always gets the final say, y'all. Yeah, and I always just sit back and rest in Jesus' arms because that's the only place where you find that peace that passes all understanding. And I've had that, you know. Um, I've had that. And anyway, so I'm real weak. I usually, I don't know that I ever say I'm weak, but uh, I'm weak. <laughs> I'm real weak. I've been going, you know, I get the uh, you know, infusions for the antibiotics and that uh, because we get this straightened out, we get this infection cleared up and come the 16th I will have, um, I'll have kidney surgery uh, to get in there and hopefully they can get this stone out that's causing all these issues. Um, yeah, because uh, the Lord blessed me tremendously. Prayers, I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate the prayers. God's answered prayers. God's worked miracles because they told me, the urologist told me that I actually had lost a kidney. I was only going to, I would be finishing out life with one kidney, which is not a big deal. Many people do it. And I was okay with that. And he said, but make sure you don't dam you don't want to damage that kidney because then you got dialysis. Well, we know all about that because followed Shalisa Shell's kidney journey and transplant. So, um, but I was like, okay, I mean, it is what it is, you know. That's what they've seen. That's what the scans show. That's what the tests tell. That's what they know. And um, I just trust God, you know. And uh, the next morning they came in and I couldn't believe it, but my kidneys were back full function. And so we'll see what goes on next week when we find out. But I wanted to fire this Friday up for all of you. I haven't got to watch a lot of videos, like I said, with my eyes and that, but I am getting to watch a few a day between my eyes and just being so tired because I sleep a lot. Um, no, it wears me out. But um, I tried to shave up some fat wood from everybody. And I just don't have the strength. I couldn't even open a bottle of water for the longest time. But uh, I did shave up some. There's some from everybody. But all I'm going to do is I'm going to use, thanks to my good brother, our brother, Dominic Minichetti, who sent me this already. Shaved up Florida fatwood. We're gonna use that just because we just ain't got enough strength for anything else today. 
but I want to fire this up for you because you all have, you've warmed my heart, you've brightened my path, you've lifted my spirits. You know, when I was in the hospital, I they couldn't believe I could stay in there and not watch a television or anything, not have anything on. But, you know, each and every day I didn't have my tablet and that's the only way I can see things I can't or do things on anything else but um every day i just sat and had each one of you come and visit with me and we'd sit and i'd hear your voice and uh, we'd chat and i'd pray for you yeah and uh that's, that's what kept me company rex covington lone star rider does your is your brother do you have a brother or a family member that's uh an anesthesiologist at St. Elizabeth Hospital in Kentucky because, man, I'm telling you, he looked like you, he talked like you, he laughed like you, he acted like you. It, you know, it, it, I could have sworn it was you. He just a little bit different. I thought he asked to be related. Of course, I didn't get to ask because, you know, he put me under. Because when they did the, I had to have a stent put in my kidneys to drain the infection. Um, but yeah, so, uh, you know, I, I just made, like I was on a cruise ship, I did have nurses and that thing. Matter of fact, the whole hospital come up, the one, I don't remember who the lady was, but she said the whole, all the floors, because I made, everywhere they took me, I was on a different part of a cruise ship, you know, when they took me in to put my port in, I was going into Battlestar Galactica, do 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 you know, because it all looks so space aged and all. And, and um, this lady come up and she says, well, you've got the whole hospital saying I have to meet this smiling lady in room 3610. So, you know, again, make the best of it. Squeeze them lemon rinds. I've been squeezing them and I think y'all been adding a little pulp because you've made it sweeter. Yeah, you have. Okay, I'm gonna light this up. I'm gonna fire this up. I'm gonna put it in my manger. I'm gonna add this from the community and everybody. There's some in there from all over. Washington, Sue Nelson, Shalisa Shell, Blue Collar Backcountry by Mike at Under Carolina Skies. I even got some peeping egg in there. I planned on having a bigger pile, but I can't, I can't, I can't, um, I can't do the shaver thing with it. I don't have the strength to push it. I to cut it. So here we go. But this is for you because y'all have lit my way. Jesus has carried me through. And y'all's prayers have lifted me up and just, you know, I, I just can't thank you enough. I really can't. Y'all are awesome. I feel so blessed. So, so blessed with this community and these people. I am so sad. I am really having to fight the gloomies today with the find them glories because I wanted so bad to be down in Kentucky today with my bushcraft buddies and to meet up in the mountains and to meet little Miss Nevaeh who uh, didn't quite work out. But, you know, my thoughts are with y'all. Y'all have fun. Enjoy. And, uh, yeah, I'll be there next time or as soon as I can. So let's fire it up. Got my Tack Hill little Pharaoh Roddy giving me. I'm going to stand up here and fire this up. <laughs> uh, oh. All right, here we go, guys. There we go. Come on. There we go, baby. There it is. That's for you all. I love you. Jesus loves you even more than I do. But let me tell you what. That's pretty dang much. Let's put her in here. Bless y'all. Have a happy Pat with Friday. Fired up Friday. You know I love you. Uh, See how bright y'all light up my life.
I don't know, maybe I'll just let it burn on here. I think I'm just gonna let it burn on there because I ain't got good enough. <laughs> ain't tough, y'all. I'm gonna be back full swing here as soon as I get this gem out. I know I got a diamond in there. I'm gonna be a millionaire when they pull this sucker out. <laughs> By the way, this fire is also from Matt Pearson. I hope it'll warm your heart. Know my prayers are with you and the loss of your mother. There's nothing better than the blessing of a sweet mother. Her memory will keep you warm for all the days ahead, my brother. 